Gaza has become a graveyard for children. It's a living hell for everyone else. On average, 420 children in Gaza have been reportedly killed or injured every day. 420. Violence being perpetrated against children extends beyond the Gaza Strip. In the West Bank, including East Jerusalem, at least 37 children have reportedly been killed. And of course, more than 30 Israeli children have reportedly been killed, while at least 20 children remain hostage in the Gaza Strip, their fates unknown. More than one million children of Gaza have a critical water crisis. Gaza's water production now, its capacity is at 5%. So child deaths to dehydration, particularly infant deaths to dehydration, are a growing threat. In addition to the water problem, some children, some infants are on ventilators. These children can't afford a couple of minutes without electricity because that means that they don't have the, the oxygen that they need to breathe. We're talking about children witnessing their parents, their families, their sisters and brothers being killed in front of them. These are kids, children who lost their dreams, lost their futures. As if this wasn't enough, children in both Israel and the state of Palestine are experiencing terrible trauma, the consequences of which could last a lifetime. Whether they are young people attending a music festival or children going about their daily lives in Gaza, they all deserve peace. Children do not start conflicts, and they are powerless to stop them.